Now, a court in Pakistan has ordered that the former Prime Minister Imran Khan should be held in jail for at least another two weeks. Mr Khan's been in Atok jail since he was sentenced to three years in prison at the start of August. That sentence has been suspended, but he's also facing charges in what's known as the Cypher case, which was brought under Pakistan's Official Secrets Act. And it's to do with that case that he is now being detained. Well, for more on all of this, let's speak to our correspondent, Sahar Baloch. Sahar, it can be a bit confusing. There's a number of different cases that uh, Imran Khan is facing charges under. Just bring us up to date on what the latest is with this particular case, the Cypher case. Uh, well, what's happening is that in Pakistan, it seems like former Prime Minister Imran Khan's legal woes are not over as yet because Imran Khan is found in another, yet another controversy, which is the Official Secrets Act. And he is basically being asked to clarify uh, about uh, the missing cipher. Uh, so just to give you a bit of a reminder, uh, last year, Imran Khan had claimed that he had received a cipher, a diplomatic cable, in which the U.S. had said that they are not happy with the way Imran Khan is running things in Pakistan. And he had, Imran Khan had accused uh, the United States of conspiring against him. And since then, you know, there was a lot of controversy around it and a lot of conversation also held. And Imran Khan was like, you know, in this position where he kept on accusing the United States at that point of time. But he was not able to produce the cipher because he said that he has misplaced it. Uh, so now he's been called in the same case and uh, he's, he's going to be investigated as well. Uh, so yesterday, when Imran Khan's sentencing was uh, suspended uh, by um, uh, the Islamabad High High court, his party loyalists and people around him, whoever is left around him right now, they had a momentary, momentary, uh, you know, uh, moment where you know they enjoyed the fact that there is there is a sense of victory among them. But um, uh, the thing is that he still has to face a, a many more challenges as well because over here in Islamabad, the chatter is that there are going to be more cases against yeah. him, and he would have to explain himself in many of those. And he's and there is no point like in in the recent at least times where it seems that he would be get out of the prison. And you mentioned other cases. I was reading on the BBC News website. It says that uh, Mr Khan now faces some 100 charges against him. Um, we know about the corruption ones in the last couple of weeks. But tell us more. I mean, that's a huge number of cases against him. Of course, he denies the allegations. Uh, well, uh, the number of cases also depend on who you are asking. For instance, if you're asking a PTI person, so they will say that there are more than 180 cases against Mr. Imran Khan. But if you ask the government side, they only count around 36 or 37 cases against him. So there is a bit of a mismatch against the numbers also. And also uh, this entire uh, thing is uh, is in place just to confuse uh, people as well. Uh, so a majority of these cases, as you point uh, rightly, rightly pointed out, that they are corruption cases. Apart from that, there is the cipher case now and apart from that there is another uh, you know uh, Tosha Khanna case against him as well so that one has been suspended but there are going to be more in the future as well these were the ones in which he was convicted properly even though the sentencing has been suspended but his political future still is in a limbo. Sahar Baloch in Islamabad for the moment thanks very much.